Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we are going to be going over the 556 Icarus and Modern Warfare 2. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 35 likes. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Jumping straight into the class setup, I am going to be using the X10 grip for the rear grip. It adds sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. For the tuning, I did negative 32% to the weight. It adds a little bit of aim down sight time and negative 9% to the width. It adds sprint to fire speed. On the stock, I'm going to be using the Ravage 8 stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. I tuned it to negative 52 to the weight and negative 46 to the length to add aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. On the barrel, I'm going to be using the FTAC Cold Forge 16 inch barrel. It adds damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. I did tune this to 21 to the weight. It adds a recoil steadiness. And aim down sight time is negative 27 inches, just to get a little bit more. As you can see, it's still really bad. On the muzzle, I'm gonna be using the FTAC Castle Compensator. It adds horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. In my opinion, it's not really needed, so you could take this off if you wanted to. And as you can see, I added 13% to the recoil stabilization and 5% to the length for aiming idle stability. You can change it around and do 13% to the aim down sight speed just to get a little bit more aim down sight speed. And for the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the FSS Shark Fin 90. It adds aiming idle stability. And I did tune it for the recoil st stabilization and the aim walking speed. Th by far, this is th the best Icarus class setup I have used. I haven't changed anything else. I would probably take off this because you don't really need it in my opinion. And it takes away a lot of aim down sight speed. I have a crazy gameplay with this. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're going to be checking out the 556 Icarus. I've been having a lot of fun with this gun. What in the world? Why is there two of them right there? Enemy personnel at the hard point. Ready for tasking. Wow. Okay. Come on, teammates. We're not going to play objective again. This is going to be another game. I just played another game just like this. Ugh. Love it. Teammates, please get on the objective. I don't understand. Why are we running away? This is this is absurd. My teammates ain't even that good. Alright, we gotta go next. There's no way you're pre-aiming this. Oh, that is... <sighs> no, 
My teammates are... They're like, they'll get sick if they get on the hard point. <clears throat> 17 kills. With you, mate. Looking pretty good so far. Some hard scoping. Calling in a counter UAV. Copy, counter UAV. Pressing recon, fly over. Copy, UAV. standing by. Target area, update. Hopefully that kills some people off of the hard point. Maybe not. I think that's 15. I feel like they're gonna spawn on top of me. UAV is big. Location updated. Capture the hard point. Enemies inside the perimeter. Throwing flash grenade. 
No. No, disabling. That's so cringe. Oh my god. Uh, why are we... Why are we all over the place? Like, don't understand. Like, why can I have advanced UAV at a lower level? It's all good. Six kills, it's not bad. We're gonna get like 50. Spring. Stand by. My teammates literally looked at him. You you spawn and lay there? Yeah. Makes sense. Seventy four GGs. Dead.